this is a video that shows you how to use Canva to create a newsletter. So first thing we need to do is go to canva.com and log in. Once we're logged in, we're going to simply search for newsletter and then hit enter. Or we could choose newsletter from the menu that shows up. Canva has multiple options for a newsletter. It doesn't really matter whether it's an email newsletter or not because we can export in various formats and in different sizes. So but we're just going to go to email newsletter and I'm going to click all so we can see that there's other choices. All right. And as you see when I mouse over the thumbnail, it says one of two. And if we leave our mouse long enough, uh, it'll show the second page. So these have two pages. Um, so let's just go back up to the top and just choose uh, the blue camera photo lens email newsletter. You can change the photos, we can change the words, so it doesn't matter the thing. Um, as you can see, when I click the first thumbnail um, page, when we created a page uh, with the first page, if I click the second thumbnail. What it is is simply replace it. So again, we'll click the first thumbnail. We only have one page, and I can either choose copy page or a new page. Create a new blank page. All right. So if I click the second page or page two thumbnail, now we have two pages of our for our newsletter. All right. Now in Canva, we can go. We can zoom in to see things a little bit clearer. We can go in and change the text. We can change the topography, um, rather we can change the font, we can change the font size, All right, we can change the color. Okay. We can also change the spacing, we have um, space between each letter, and we also have the line height. Okay. All right, there's other options as well. Okay, so let's say we we made some changes and we like what we have so far. All right, those two work well, but we have enough content for a third page. What do we do? All right, so we can click Add New Page. And if we go to any of these other templates, I'm just going to click, let's click the second page of this particular template. All right. Now, to make them, uh, to make it consistent, what we need to do is change the color. So we can go to the font. With uh, Canva, what it does is it has the colors already stored. So this blue that we see here that's used for the title, we change the color. We can choose the color used within this other thing. We can make it match like that. So it's not hard to do at all. Here we want to, we can ungroup these, uh, these lines. And we can use a different color. If we make a mistake, we click undo. The back button shown here. All right. Now we change the color of the lines. The last thing to do would be to use the same font. So we double click on this particular font, or we just choose the text box. Uh, it'll let us know the name of the font. So now we can go to the other other text boxes and simply use that same font. And that will bring our design together and make it consistent. All right, the photos, um, we choose a photo, there's a filter we can add to it. We can also adjust the, the transparency. So we have various filters. We see with this particular design, our photo is in black and white. So let's see if it has used the filter or not. All right, so now that particular photo is in color as well. Uh, most likely we use our own photos, but if you wanted to use a black and white or make it black and white, we simply use the filter and make the changes as we see fit. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And there you have it. You have your newsletter. You will replace the content with your content. And then when you're ready, uh, you will simply download it. Uh, Canva has so many options. You can export it to your Google Drive, your OneDrive. Tumblr, you can uh, send it to be printed, 
you can embed it in a web page as you see here um, export as PowerPoint have it create a website presentation mode so a lot of choices it just depends on how you'd like to share your newsletter so if you wanted to email it here's going to be sent as a PDF uh, we could also choose PNG or JPEG All right. we're entering in an email address to send to and we use a premium image but again if we were using um, if it was your newsletter you would use your own images most likely if not camera has some images you can also use and you can use a free image easy to replace so you simply just click and drag All right. so if you want to make it into a website or web page we simply choose website uh, you have different modes you can scroll it can be a standard one page website with a navigation bar we're going to choose scrolling and open website what that does is it publishes the actual website gives you a, U a URL and you can share this address just by copying the URL and you have your newsletter online okay. if you don't like the look of it simply go back and choose a different option All right, so let's choose website again you chose scrolling This time we're going to choose standard. As you can see, it fills up more of the width of our website, or excuse me, of the browser. It takes a little bit larger. I can just simply export that. Again, we have a URL we can use and copy and send that. Now we see the links. The links will take us to a particular page, and at the top of each uh, page, we have a title. Um, so top mobile trends of 2020 we want to change this name to whatever the name of our newsletter would be and then we can name each page separately All right. I won't go through that because you may choose to use a, a different uh, format uh, for your newsletter then we also have embed All right. and what this would do is allow you to uh, have code that you can embed into a website a web page and publish in that manner and share it as a web page so that's how you create a newsletter using Canva. Thank you.